My name is Frank Curry. I am the lead faculty for the Distributed Energy Technologies program at Santa Fe Community College. We are developing the Smart and Microgrid Training Center, the SMTC, as part of the workforce development portion of the New Mexico Smart Grid Center project. Based in the Trades and Advanced Technologies building at SFCC, the goal of the SMTC is to serve as a comprehensive center for training the next generation of smart and microgrid professionals. We're doing this by developing curriculum and courses and also launching new degree and certificate programs. With project support, we've been able to make significant progress on this front and have purchased two new laptops, Power World Simulator software and Homer Pro microgrid modeling software. Purchasing the Homer and Power World software in particular has been critical because it allows students to use industry standard software to learn about power system and microgrid design. My name is James Muir. I'm getting a certificate in grid modernization at Santa Fe Community College. Utilizing Homer actually was a really good way to be able to build your own model. It gives you some of the problems that you're going to start to run into and, and you can start to troubleshoot the issues that you're going to have when you go offline from the grid. While funding has allowed us to build simulation capabilities at the SMTC, it's also been integral to supporting our greenhouse microgrid, which currently includes a 100 kilowatt, 85 kilowatt hour lithium-ion energy storage system and a tracking solar PV array that feed into an 11,000 square foot greenhouse and standalone lab building. Project funding has also allowed us to offer students paid summer internships working on our greenhouse microgrid. So this summer I'm, I'm working with Frank Curry installing energy monitoring equipment in the greenhouse, getting energy monitoring equipment to gather data on solar irradiance as well as heat and water and all of the inputs that go into the microgrid. And we're basically trying to get all that data into one place so that people can use that for uh, further research. With support from the New Mexico Smart Grid Center, we're purchasing a 30 kilowatt natural gas generator and a load bank, both of which are being incorporated into the microgrid to increase resiliency. The greenhouse microgrid is also being integrated into the broader campus microgrid project that's part of the energy performance contract with Siemens and moves the campus towards state and federal energy targets. One of the more interesting things that's happened in the development of this program, um, the Smart Grid Center, is, uh, is a global pandemic. And this greenhouse isn't just uh, a teaching tool. During the pandemic, when the world began to shut down, the greenhouse kicked into full operation. We ramped up production out of there, began putting uh, lettuce and tomatoes and, and other produce into various uh, community organizations, uh, feeding uh, closed-in people, sheltered people, at-risk people. A lot of the produce went to feed the culinary department um, through them. The World Central Kitchen, I believe, is the name of the, of the program that, that put out tens of thousands of meals. Um, across the community, and a lot of the uh, the food that went into those meals came out of our greenhouse. Our relationship with the lab is really cool. Actually, um, the energy storage system was donated by Sandia National Labs, and they're currently in the process of outfitting the inside of the energy storage system with a lot of thermal sensors to look at thermal gradients and to look at how you know temperatures move and behave across the various modules through that system under various uh, modes of operation. Um, so we've got uh, we've got national level research going on here, and our students are part of that. They're they're collaborating, they're learning, and they're going to get their certificates and their degrees. And at the same time, they're doing it in the context of of real world national security level research. Because of this funding, students get access to industry standard software. They get access to hands-on training with the actual utility level devices that are, that are used across the country. Um, students get access to researchers across the state. They get access to national labs. They get to work in a real modern microgrid that includes photovoltaics, a modern energy storage system, generation. So my time here at Santa Fe Community College has given me opportunity to prepare for my four-year degree studying engineering, and I'm um, looking forward to the things we can, we can do in New Mexico.